Howdy folks, my name's Darren from RC Scale Models and today we've got another kit review. This is Trumpeters 135 scale, German railway gondola, low sided. They do two versions, a low sided and high sided. What that means is the uh, actual trailer itself with the, uh, around the edge of it is the sides of the trailer. This is, the, as I say, low sided and high sided is just a bigger version. They use it for transporting cargo, barrels, anything pretty much. But as it's depicted on the box art, it's shown with a uh, any aircraft gun and ammunition and cargo and stuff. I am going to do mine just like that, pretty much. The uh, any aircraft gun that is is in the uh, trailer or gondola is the Flak 38, which is this kit from Trometer. I will do a separate video on this, but I will be doing uh, just like it is on the box. Uh, with this uh, 38 Flak, you just get the 38 Flak. There's no crew figures. So let's take a look what we get inside the box. So what's within this kit? This is this side, uh, part of the uh, information of the gondola, what it was used for, a little bit of information. Uh, kit number 01518. Uh, there's the kit built up. Hydrometer, so potentially what it can look like, um, and some more information from Trumpeter. So, it's top opening box, it's really sturdy. Um, worksheet, colour called out, loaded with plastic. I already had a quick brief of this, and I was testing it out with some parts so I will have a closer look at this so here's the worksheet pretty uh, standard for Trumpeter um, it is a small booklet but it's done sideways um, symbols weight not glue cut off decals that kind of thing pretty standard um, everything was within the kit good way of checking we do get these uh, sleepers section for your tracks to go into and, and sleepers this is the ballast part i don't actually like this the way it's designed so i won't be using this but i will be using normal tracks if you are using the ballast and sleepers this is how it's assembled it clicks together and obviously you can buy more and more track and make a longer longer track section uh, i've already previously shown you how this was done on one of my other videos it just slides straight through the uh, sleepers very simple working on the gondola itself um, the sides of the uh, gondola this is like structural parts and then obviously your wheels will sit in these section here like it's depicted here your wheels has got the axle and two wheels and then you've got a outer plate these sections here are the connection points these are your bump stops so once you've done both sides of those, you can start attaching it all together. Um, just be careful when attaching these brakes, you don't have them glued in too tightly or too close forward because you will not get your wheels in. Um, these are the front and rear, I call them bumpers, with the bump stops, the, uh, t the hooks and the um, hose line. For I think the hoses is for the air brakes if I'm not mistaken. So that's pretty standard. We have these rails with load of handles. The main floor comes as basically like two halves and it's got the uh, grain effect on it for the uh, wood, which you can see here. A couple of brackets to support it into place. The side rails going in. Your two sections of floor going on top of your completed chassis. Looks like air tanks going in. Very simple. And then you've got your low sided sections going in. The good thing about these, they're, the way they've designed, they're removable like it is on the real thing. So you don't have to have this as a low sided gondola. You can take, remove these completely and have this kind of like a flatbed as well. Um, and then if you are having it as a gondola, you can attach these sides. Um, and then, as I say, they are removable. If you want to glue them in place, then you can do, do so. But I probably won't. I'm going to have them removable. If I do ever decide to uh, change it up slightly. And that's pretty much it. It's a very quick, simple build by Trumpeter. 
they give you one basic color call out which is uh, German grey or field grey or panzer grey however you want to look at it um, and this wood grain effect they've got it down at, for the same color but even though it's printed slightly different um, you can do a wood grain effect you don't even have to do it these colors you can do it whatever you like but they're just calling out for standard German grey As for the kit itself, these are the sleeper sections. As I say, I, I don't use these, I don't like the way they're designed. And plus, you've got massive cleanup to do. We have two bags, four sleepers section. more sleepers I do have some rails which I've already taken off the sprue because I was messing around with the uh, track when I first bought this um, so normally these sleepers are norm normally attached inside here but as I say I've already taken them off you get two shorts and two long ones um, you have a long ones inside the box so you get some long long sections uh, you do get a single sleeper and attachment points for attaching this the uh, rail together that's pretty standard sprue for all club to track it all comes pretty much the same way this is the uh, long sorry this is the long um, track section with sleepers um, there is cutouts, you can do a slight curve in it, but I'm trying to do this with a slight curve, I don't know if it would bend. Um, you've got a short section again of track. This, this, this section is pretty cool. I have previously tested it already on one of the other videos on the uh, oil tanker stroke uh, fuel tanker. The wheel spacing does fit the trumpeter track, so we know that fits. Um, I do have some flatbeds which will be coming up soon, which are made by a different company and some uh, gondola type wagon type things. Um, I'm hoping the spacing will fit for trumpeter, but we will test that. So this is low sided parts, wheels and chassis, so we we'll take a closer look at this. Just one other thing, if you are looking for a decent pair of modelling scissors, I know these ones are made by Tamir and they're a little bit expensive because it's branded, but they're, they're actually really, really good scissors. Really, really sharp as well. You can use them for cutting through bags. They even You can use them for cutting sprue, but I wouldn't recommend it. I think they're actually designed for cutting uh, photo etch. They're actually good for that as well. So we have this first sprue. So there's only four or five, five sprues in total, so it's a small kit, it should go together quite quickly. Um, as I say, I have two of these, so I'll be building, when I come to build these, I'll be building them both at the same time. Um, so we have some support brackets. Here are your two wheels. As I say, there should be two of these, I believe. Yeah, so there is there's two of these, complete. So these are your caps to go inside your wheels. You've got ejector pins on the inside, but... Once they uh, button up together, you're not going to see them. Little toe clamps. These are your hose sections. <clears throat> These are okay if you're not attaching it to any other connections. Um, but I will place this with rubber hose because I want mine obviously all linked together. Uh, your axle. These I'm not sure. I can't remember. These are your bump stops. Actually, these sorry. These are these are the bump stops, and these are the ends. These are your brake assembly. Um, and this is all your hook attachments. You can do it a certain way. Um, you glue only glue one end, and then the rest of it clamps together, and it does allow it to be movable. But in instructions, it doesn't call out for that. They just call you out just to glue it in place.
So we have two of these in the bag, which are pretty much the same. These will contain parts of your tank. These are the structural parts for your side. So these will sit inside these grooves. And this is the uh, thickness of your side rail of the uh, low sided gondola. It has the wood grain effect. And these are these section will be metal. There is no director pins because it's double sided. It's obviously going to be visible. So they've done it a certain way. That's what these little tabs are for. This is what takes up the ejector pins. There is a couple of ejector pins on the inside of these, but because you've got the metal plates coming over them, they're not going to be visible. This is your side rail. These have little grab handles on them. Um, these are more metal plates. These are support brackets. Here is one of the uh, either rear or front side. Again, you've got some, you got support pieces going in. This is one of your bumpers. You've got all your detail parts. These are all your grab handles and brackets. Uh, and there's the other side of the fuel tank. And there's the, there's the end cap. There should be another one, I believe, somewhere. This is another sprue. And last bag with two sprues in it. Again, exactly the same. This should be the main frame, the chassis. Upper rails, it does have a wood grain effect on the flatbed itself. I was debating of swapping this out for actual wood planks, but. I thought about it and I'm not sure if I will do it or not because the grain is pretty pretty detailed a nice dry brush and some washes it should come out nicely this is the underside floor which makes it slightly thicker to give it some depth this goes inside this piece there are objective pins inside here um, I wouldn't really worry about them too much because it's going to be face down you're not you're only going to see if you pick it up, so I don't see the point of tidying them up. You do get some nasty pins inside the rail though, if you wish to take care of those, you may may have to. Um, leaf springs, here is another bumper, this side smooth, this is another part of your rail, this is where your wheels sit and the axles go through here, so it's all nice and done. These are support brackets, these are brackets for you as well. These are support brackets as well that go in between the uh, rail. Um, so yeah, it should, shouldn't be too difficult. Um, it should be pretty simple to put together. Not a ton of parts, nicely done. Just before I forget, there is some decals. I don't know how well you can see those on camera, but you've got some writing here. You've got the German Eagle type symbol, some writing, some crosses a B in a circle, a number 9 in a square box. You do have some writing. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the uh, where the trailers are made or that kind of thing. Um, but it does say DR30612 and the rest of it I can't really make out. So there you are folks, there's another kit from Trumpeter, it's 135 scale, it's the railway gondola, low sided. Like, comment, subscribe and I'll catch you next time.